So what's going on toxic gamers and call of duty refugees we gotta talk about this situation okay a lot of people are very very mixed on the black ops 6 beta i'm seeing a lot of you guys say and, and this is facts right i'm seeing a lot of you guys say that you're loving black ops 6 beta i'm seeing a lot of the call of duty shows the youtubers that right the influencers that were invited out by actors and they're saying the beta is good I, I don't care about what they say but i care about what you say and i'm seeing a lot of you saying that it's actually good. Maybe it's a honeymoon phase. Maybe it's not. You, you, you know what I mean, right? And I recently ended up getting the beta code and I played like a couple of games and I have to say it is better than Concord, okay? It is. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. It is better than Concord. Like the video if you think Black Ops 6 beta is better than Concord. Just like the video if you think it's worse than that. I'm seeing some of you say that it's bad, but generally speaking, like I'm seeing 80% of you guys saying that it's actually good. But today, however, we got the homie Ghost of Aid though. Yay! Yeah, you know one thing about the homie Ghost of Aid is that he don't like those helmets though. Yay! He don't like those helmets and me neither. Let's actually get into it. Roll it. Six multiplayer beta. Love the homie Blame Truth though, but not the helmets. That's what I should say, okay? Maybe the worst beta I have ever played in Call of Duty history. It is a big steaming pile of horse shit. It is Bruh. horrendous. Okay. There is nothing good about Call of Duty. Come on, man. Like, you know, two weeks ago, you were saying that Call of Duty is the best game ever. Bish game ever. Bish game ever. Bish. I, I, I get it. He's doing that for entertainment. <laughs> but I, nah, man. Like, that gotta be camp, bro. Come on, man. Like, it's better than Concord bro what the hell it is better than concord what are we talking about right now man i'll do black ops 6 that hasn't been done before in any other call of duty better okay. you can't we're gonna hear him out though see anything the kill streak so horrible the guns are all just recycled the freaking graphics look like a playstation 4 mobile game They're, i mean like let's just keep real it looks absolutely horrendous it is aesthetically disgusting looking it was supposed to be four years and four thousand developers <laughs> made this game. That's right. This took four okay, years. Okay, listen, man. Yo, he's gonna get me to become toxic too right now, bro. But that is a fact. Four years, man. That is a fact. Like, listen. Okay, listen. Graphically speaking, it's not impressive, but it's not the worst game ever. Graphically, right? It's not impressive. But when you hear that these suckers have took like four years to make, bro, like you feel what i'm saying yeah right like it is better than concord i'm gonna stick with that i i actually had some fun playing the game i really did not look like this while i'm playing the game you know a lot of people are coming together right now you know and, and i want to make sure people do come together as one because for years now man we had our problems okay mankind always had its problem mankind is always gonna have its problems okay but i want to see brothers uniting and i search very deeply very profoundly even and i tried my hardest to come out with something that can keep us on the same page and it has to be concord i know some of you guys are hating this game i know some of you are loving this game but what i feel like that what everybody can agree on is that it's better than concord Bruh. okay like the video if you think it's better than concord i'm just trying to keep people united man i'm just trying to keep i'm just trying to unite people man i'm just trying to keep the peace here brother temporary truce okay how about that let's make a temporary truce years it is like a recycled rehashed reused copy and paste cold war with a modern warfare 2019 whatever modern warfare 2 modern warfare 3 it's all the same engine there is no ingenuity anymore there's no creativity they're not doing nothing except copy and paste and everything from the past and Sadly. that's what this game is like they're spending four years probably on store bundles to sell to a bunch of brain dead brain rot gen z it, it, it context is talking about the family He's talking about the, 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 the bundles, yeah. Morons. This tax sprint, horrible. Doors, stupid. Maps are garbage. Sliding is pointless. The Omni movement, the diving around is absolutely ridiculous, clunky. That stupid, you know, meat shield taking someone hostage is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in a multiplayer game where I have to sit there and wait for 10 seconds while some guy walks around holding me hostage and I'm just getting shot in the back and it's absolutely useless and doesn't provide any positive in any way whatsoever for uh -huh. anybody playing the fucking game. Modern uh -huh. Warfare 3 destroys this game if you think modern warfare 3 sucked but you like black ops 6 i got news for you you might be retarded now forget about all that i titled this video games hacked it's done already let me show you they've already got hacks in a beta this is That's how true. awesome yeah. ricochet's anti-cheat is yeah. working they've already got aimbot wall hacks whatever you want to buy they got it dudes have absolutely cracked the game wide open and people are exploiting how bad the anti-cheat system is for call of duty
Now, one thing I will say here is that... Uh, uh, yeah, like, this is true, so you're getting people hacking on the game. One thing that I will say is that... Yeah, apparently Concord don't have hackers. Uh, so that's the best thing about Concord right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but it also has a small community of 100 people playing the game versus probably thousands if not millions on Call of Duty. So yeah, it bound to happen. Like the video if you don't want hackers uh, on the game. Dislike the video if you're actually hacking on the game, man. I want to know where you at, bro. Like, hopefully not. One of but... the worst betas ever, and I'm not even trying to cap on that. In four years, yeah. Treyarch made a game that looks worse and plays worse than its predecessor. With a Is he capping or spitting facts? I want to know where you at. But see, whether you think he's spitting facts or cap, one thing is for sure that it's better than Concord, man. I'm going to stick with him. I'm going to stick with this one. I'm going to stick with this. It's better than Concord. It's better than... <laughs> It's better than Concord. I think that's gonna bring people together. Yeah, man. Like the bullshit video. movement gimmick. It's like dolphin diving, but they tried to make it like actually applicable to playing rather than just a gimmick. And it is nothing more than just a gimmick. This okay. game does not need to exist. It provides Damn. nothing worth buying if you own Modern Warfare 3. There is nothing. No uh, I, I actually did not buy Modern Warfare 2023, right? And this year, I also so far have not pre ordered the game. After seeing zombies, I was like, nah, I don't need to pre order. I was going out for the beta, but I didn't. And I missed out like the first two days. But then somebody was, uh, you know, publicly tweeting codes. Uh, not somebody, I mean, the, the homie Tom Henderson. Shout out to the homie Tom Henderson. Like four in the morning, I was on my PC, on my PC ride working. And I saw his tweets and I was like, okay, let me try my luck. And I entered the beta code and it worked and I ended up getting that. So shout out to the homie Tom uh, for the beta code. All right, so I was able to get like two games in and I, I did enjoy my time for what it's worth, right? But I only played two games and I, I don't have Modern Warfare 3. Now, if you do have Modern Warfare 2023 and you're playing the beta, I, I want to know your take. You think like you're it's like worse than modern warfare 2023 20, it's better than that because for me like you guys gotta understand that i did not pre-order with my money okay i'm not gonna pre-order there's no point there's no point either way like the beta is gonna be free next week so i was looking to wait till next week to give it a shot i, I don't want to give these suckers like my money like that uh because like once i pre-order and and if i don't enjoy it's not like i can get my money back right like especially on playstation oh forget about it right if you got game pass if you're on xbox or pc steam i think you can always get your money back but with but with with the playstation oh hell no maybe you can still but i i don't want to take a risk okay so I, i'm like hey i need to like li listen man I i'm grateful i'm blessed but there are certain things where i i, I rather spend my money where I i'll get something out of it and i'll have a good experience with call of duty I'm not too sure about it. I think it's better than Conquer, and I actually played it and had my uh, had my fun, and I hope it's gonna be like that. But uh, I, I want to know like what you think because here's the thing, right? Like with YouTubers, the Call of Duty influencers, they're they're never gonna say anything bad because if I if they do, they're gonna get banned and they're not gonna be invited out, right? So th that's a fact. But with channels uh, that usually cover like bad news and sometimes good news as well, I would say the homie Ghost of it. He covers everything, but, you know, he bipolar, though, so <laughs> if you're watching, I still love you, man, I still love you, nothing but live, man, nothing but love, I know it's for entertainment, so th this is what I'm saying, like, sometimes it's for entertainment, sometimes it's like, you know, like, they're just hating for the sake of hating, and the homie blame truth, I got nothing but love for him, I, I, I mean, listen, I got no hate for nobody, okay, even if you're a Call of Duty shell, you're a Call of Duty BBC rider, you wear helmets, you, you're a BBC rider, a uh, meat rider, Call of Duty D rider, or Call of Duty hater, refugee, I, I don't, listen, man, I got love for everybody, like, damn, it's a video game at the end of the day, you love it, I'm happy for you, if you don't like it, I'm happy for you still, right, and another factor is that, if there's a, there's probably a game that you're gonna like that I'm not gonna like. There's probably a game that I'm gonna like that you're not gonna like. So opinions, right? Whoa, like, hey, shocker, shocker. Everybody got different opinions, and that's awesome. That is awesome. You know, some people are gonna love it. Some people are not gonna love it. So point being that you cannot trust YouTubers, okay? Like, simply put, so, simply put, don't take YouTubers' opinions as gospel. You are your own person. So this is why I trust the comment section more. I trust you guys leaving in the comments. Although I I totally get it that we're still like super early, right? So it's like the honeymoon phase right now. So some of you might say you love it, but you might not say the same a week from now, a month from now, two months from now. Feel what I'm saying? And opinions gonna surely change and that's perfectly fine. But for the moment, in the moment, you guys are not paid, right? <laughs> you guys are not paid to say good things about Call of Duty. So I'm assuming you have no motive 
this is why I'm gonna trust the comment section a lot more. So I wanna know your thoughts on it. New, from guns, to perks, to streaks, all boring and tired. I mean, let me, let me break it down to you. You need over 12 kills to get a Predator missile, which is called what? a Hellstorm when it comes to Treasure. Literally, a Predator oh, missile shit. Oh, needs 12 kills. It is what so god awful boring. You need six or seven. Is that facts? Because back in the days, man, it was five, bro. One, two, three, four, and boom. And boom. Nah, this gotta be cap. This gotta be cap. And, and plot twist is coming up, man. Should I give you? Okay, I'll give you the plot twist. I'll give you the plot twist. Apparently, the homie ended up getting blocked by Treyarch. Yeah, so that's a plot twist, but wait for the climax. Seven kills just to get a UAV. The best thing about Call of Duty, one of the main selling factors, were kill streaks. And that's okay. what differentiates it from other first person shooters. But these kill streaks take forever to earn and they're absolutely useless. I am praying that this game flops so that Activision has to actually make something and do something different to change course with the development. Oh man, I was about to pray too, but then he said the game flops and then I had to like stop it immediately. Operation abort right there, man. <laughs> Pump the brakes real quick, man. I hope the game turns out good, man. To be fair though, I want, I, I don't want like homies like, you know, looking like this, man. Like, I, like, damn, man. Like, maybe next year we're getting Black Ops 2 Remaster, Remake, right? With Black Ops 2 original maps, with new maps as well. That's what they're saying. Uh, that's what was leaked out. So I want this year being good. I want next year being good. And you know what? In 2026, we can get a bad Call of Duty. Right. Yes. Yeah, we can have a bad Call of Duty. But I want, like, I, I want a good game this year. And I want a good game next year. Damn, man. Like, I want to see brothers be cherishing, man. I want the brothers to be happy. Come on, man, like two years, okay? Only for two years, this year and next year, let the game be good. And, and you know what? Like, after that, we can have bad Call of Duty, okay? Like, how about that? Let's make a temporary truce. Like the video if you agree. Developers, because Infinity Ward sucks. Treyarch now sucks. The Treyarch we have now is nowhere near the Treyarch we've had in the past. The entire development team is a That's former true. shell of itself. Nobody working at Treyarch now. David Wonderheart quit. Jason Blundell quit. Uh, Lee Ross, uh, he was Infinity Ward, then he was uh, promoted to Treyarch, right? He quit as well. Yeah, a lot of the uh, the actual OG talent has left. Yeah, so it, it'd be like that, man. Now, actually made the good call of duties like Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 1. Mediocre Black Ops 4, that's when people started to leave. And now we had Cold War, Trash, and now we got a four-year cycled game. It took them four years to make a yeah, copy and paste yeah, Cold yeah. War with Modern Warfare 2019 engine and movement and infinity War yeah it, like even if you like the game or you don't like the game that that's one of the point that is objectively true they took four years to make this game and it does not look like a four years game i think it's actually fun it's better than concord million times better than concord but for a four years game i think people deserve more and people expected more that that part i do agree with but you know what we gotta we gotta be happy with the little stuff man we gotta be happy with the little stuff. <laughs> At, at least it's better than Concord. At least it's better than Concord. At least it's better than Dustborn, right? Right, guys? Ford, right? Absolutely trash. Sledgehammer Games is the only one that does a good Call of Duty. Everyone hated on Vanguard. At least it was fun. At least it had a lot of content. But this year, Modern Warfare 3, I was telling everybody, I couldn't be negative about Modern Warfare 3 that much because post-launch had more content. This is a fact. It had more content, more maps, new maps, new weapons, more challenges than any Call of Duty in the history of this franchise oh damn and it looked good it played pretty well and i oh, enjoyed damn. the hell out of it more or less i mean i'm not sitting here playing eight hours a day like some kind of degenerate i play a couple hours here and there skill-based batch making gets a little too thick like my cock I oh man it's been months uh, since i played the last the, the only game that i have been recently playing like here and there is like flight simulator <laughs> because yeah well one day um I, I want to get my pilot license, like, for, for real, for real. I love planes, man. What I was going to say. I love planes, man. Not, not like, those kind of planes, guys, but the planes that actually fly. I know there are other kinds of planes that do fly like that. Okay, like, I get that. I get that, but... But I'm talking about the planes that fly in the air, okay? So, yeah, flight simulator, learning about flying the planes, all right? Yeah, okay? Don't make any more jokes than that, okay? Jump but off and go play Fortnite. No build if I got time. 
And this okay. game, Black Ops 6, I see no reason for any of you watching this video unless you are a content creator or someone who just, you know, has a ton of expendable income sitting around and wants to waste it. That is the only type of people who should buy this game. I'm only bought this game so I can make videos and shit Fuck. on it because it is that bad. I am telling you right now, I'm not going to change my mind later on down the road. I'm not going to flip flop. I'm being yeah. serious. So people ask you what you do for a living. Oh man, I make Call of Duty with you. Oh, okay. Tell me about your channel. How you? Well, I'm, uh, yeah, I love playing Call of Duty. Uh, I make Call of Duty videos and I hate on the game and make my money like that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, honestly, it sounds funny when you say it that way. But you're like a reviewer. You can say you're a re reviewer. You review games. Honestly, authentically is that a word? Authentically, right? Right? Exactly. Exactly here with you do not Wait buy it. this game if you hated modern warfare 3 do not buy this game if you enjoyed modern warfare 3 do not buy this game just keep playing modern warfare 3 it is exponentially better which is saying a lot because modern warfare 3 okay what about what about x defined though yay 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 you guys we gotta do it do this immediately everybody emergency meeting immediately okay everybody gather on gather on gather on gather on okay i i want call of duty d riders on this i want call of duty haters i want everybody man Damn, bro, damn! I don't want this to be like, hey, Call of Duty D-Riders there, Call of Duty BBC Bundle Riders there, Call of Duty Haters there, Call of Duty Refugees here. Nah, I want everybody, okay? People from all walks of life, yay, okay? Like, you like the game, be here, okay? You hate the game, I want you to be here, okay? Let's come together. Uh, uh, because I do believe in my hearts of hearts that this game is better than Concord, absolutely. Might be, oh, I should not say might be. It It is it is 100% better than Dustborn as well. Yeah. But my question here is that, is it better than X Defiant? Yeah, okay, that, that's my question, though. That's my question. Now, knowing the homie in Coast of Aid, he hates X Defiant, okay? He don't like it. He don't like it. Th uh, thank you for subscribing, gang, gang. Welcome on in. But the homie blamed Truth. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the helmet. I think it's the helmet. Like, because I like the homie blamed Truth, man. I don't, I, I, I love people. I just hate their actions, okay? That's where I'm at, okay? Hate the actions, not the people, okay? Hate the sin, not the sinner. Is that the way? Is that the way? Let, let, me, let me know, okay? Let Bruh. me know. Let me know. I, I want to know. I mean, there, there's probably something along the lines of of that, okay? Hate the sin, not the sinners. Yeah, oh, damn. That's actually, yeah. That, yeah, right? Yeah, I agree. I agree with that statement here. But, but yeah, so maybe it's, it was the helmet. Because most of it hates extra fine the homie blame truth he loves it he glazed it he glazed it he glazed it he loves it and i'm happy for the fella i'm happy for the gentleman because he finally found his love because yeah right like <laughs> damn like he don't like anything but he loves uh x defined and i'm happy for the fella right we're hearing that it might get shut down man but uh he loves it he loves it so i want to know ghost of eight if you're watching this is this better than extra fine I think, I think it is. Oh shit! Oh. I think it is. I think oh. it. <laughs> I think it is. I think it is better than X Define, Concord, and Dustborn. Okay, I do believe that. Like the video if you agree. Three was you know a pretty good game, but not that great. But that's just how bad Black Ops Six is because okay. it makes Modern Warfare Three look amazing. Forget about so. After he made this video and he said what he said, this what happened. Wait for the climax, roll it. Treyarch can't handle the truth. I Treyarch. want the truth! You can't handle the truth! <laughs> he got blocked. Damn. They're a bunch of soft cock beta males and they fear the alpha male elite game and stud muffin next level top notch 360 double wide no scope in the puss bush balls deep only halfway in they do not really appreciate i guess the haram criticism i guess you're not allowed to tweet at them anything negative on a social media platform considering i'm the consumer so let's just keep it real what a group of giant beta males these dudes block me on Twitter because I am negative of Call of Duty Black Dang. Ops 6. The Whoa. platform that makes the video game. I am the consumer and Treyarch is the creator of said content that yeah. I paid for. And I'm not allowed to be negative about the game. They don't want to see the negativity. They don't want people tweeting at them and exposing or making... Hashtag equality, man. Where's the equality at, man? Y'all still gonna be hating on consumers like that? Damn, man. Quote, unquote. They literally said Coastal of It is a toxic gamer. 
we don't want a toxic consumer we're gonna block the consumer damn that's crazy right like they'd be blocking consumers left and right though but deserved or justice for eight thoughts justice for ghost of it i think hashtag justice for ghost of it man videos exposing how weak their content is and you may be wondering like what did i do to get blocked what did i say to get blocked yeah. I'm nothing. I'm just being critical of Call of Duty. Being critical of. Okay, stop the cap, bro. Stop the cap. You must have said something. Black Ops 6 saying they did a horrible job making this game, and they can't handle that as a actual company that is providing a product as a consumer. So I don't have a right to complain. I just found as well while I was going through and looking at the tweets and who I was blocked from and Treyarch and trying to find the actual tweet that got me blocked. I realized it was not only Treyarch that blocked me, but I was actually blocked by the official Call of Duty update Twitter account as well for replying back to them and being critical about Black Ops 6. So I'm on my way to getting blocked by every Call of Duty official account. As once I got blocked by Call of Duty updates, they blocked me by Treyarch. So my point is this, I wanna get into before I show you the tweets too, to get real serious and drive home an actual point here. And it is this, and I've been right for 17 years. I've been saying this for 17 years. Uh, I feel like that even the homie Blame Truth was uh, blocked, but I don't think he was blocked by Call of Duty updates, right? <laughs> so that tells me that you're the most toxic gamer ever that walked on the face of the planet according to them guys send a prayer out this this second's way man nothing but love man nothing but love you know what i'm saying man but uh, apparently disastrous news for zombies check out this video on the screen guys if you already seen it then check out the video on the left we got some gts 6 and ps5 pro gameplay leaking out and apparently it's might be good might be good check these videos out and i'll see you right there